The eclipse is telling us a story, one that foretells a great depression in the midst of a wealth transfer. But the reason why the X forms over Little Egypt is Illinois is showing us what's going to affect the rest of us. Seven years ago, our nation was changed. It was much finger pointing, racial uprising, a pandemic. Churches' doors were closed. We never thought we'd see this. And many people died. There was a time of plenty. There was a time of great price wars. Children were aborted up till birth. Children are being sex trafficked. There's an internal war going on between the Democrats and the Republicans. The deterioration of the family unit. What was considered good is now evil. And what is now evil is accepted as good. Our forefathers protected our borders. You can blame whoever you want, but this eclipse is about you and me. Jonah was a prophet, a believer, and God sent him on a mission. He was told to go to a place named Nineveh with the word for the people to repent over a certain time period. Jonah didn't like that word. These people in Nineveh, they did not follow God. They followed what they wanted. And when Jonah arrived, it came with a great solar eclipse. And because of this eclipse, it made the people listen. Now, Southern Illinois became known as Little Egypt in 1830, representing a cultural divide between slave and free, a grain belt and famine, a place of fertile land that resembled the Nile. In fact, Edwardsville, Illinois, was known as Goshen. It was a place of freedom for the slaves during the Civil War. Many were carried through the Underground Railroad systems and tunneled. Illinois made a law that slavery was not permitted, but it went against its own constitution, requiring people to have a certificate of freedom. And finally, in Equality, Illinois, of all places, the slaves were sent to work the salt mines. In 1830, a great famine came. The people were left without food, without grain. They came from all over in covered wagons to buy as much grain as they could. This reminded the people of the Bible story about Joseph and the Egyptians. And these towns were named during this time. The 40s through the 60s affected the United States, Europe, China, the globe. Some of these famines were worsened by planning of governments. They planned famines for their own purposes. When Jonah came, people observed the signs in the times. They repented and they turned back to God. God spared Nineveh. They were forgiven because they truly repented. Real Nineveh is Mosul, Iraq. So this affects the Middle East as well. The United States dollar is declining. We see that countries in the BRICS nation have all joined together. We know that God set his people free in Egypt from slavery, and there was a wealth transfer. Cairo, Egypt was the primary center for economic production. Cairo, Illinois was once thought to be the place where the White House should be placed. But because Cairo, Illinois would not clean up its act, it could not free itself. Now, Jesus, who is represented through Joseph, brought the people to salvation. God gives each of us until our last breath to decide yes or no for him. He loved us enough to give us a free will choice. God has seen enough. This is a great season to be alive for we shall witness these events. Joseph, through his relationship with God, saved not only Egypt, but the lands around Egypt. The wealth of God was supposed to be shared both spiritually and physically. This is a time for each one of us to look at ourselves and decide if we are going to repent individually, not listening to what everybody else has to say about the Bible and you haven't even read it for yourself. A time for us to repent individually and about corporate abominations, what we have done with this earth. There has been a great famine of the true word of God and other people telling you what to think. Make a personal decision for your eternal life and physically for the generations to come after you.